The G protein linked receptor, the blue protein on the left, is used by cells to receive signals from a number of hormones and neurotransmitters. The G protein linked receptor acts by communicating with an enzyme represented by the protein on the right. The G protein, loosely bound to the cytoplasmic side of the membrane, helps the G protein re linked receptor send the signal to the enzyme. When GDP is attached to the G protein, the protein is inactive. When a signal molecule binds to the G-linked receptor, the receptor changes shape and binds to the G-protein. GTP replaces GDP on the G-protein, activating the protein. The activated protein moves and binds to the enzyme, activating it. This triggers the next step for the cellular response. Finally, the G-protein hydrolyzes the bond in GTP, returning it to GDP. The G-protein leaves the enzyme, going back to its inactive state. A receptor tyrosine kinase can trigger more than one response at a time. It is made of two inv individual proteins which have multiple tyrosines on the intracellular side of the membrane. When signal molecules bind to the extracellular receptor, the proteins come together to make a dimer. This activates the tyrosine kinase region of each protein and each tyrosine adds a phosphate from ATP. Specific relay proteins can then bind to a specific phosphorylated tyrosine. When a protein binds, the protein changes shape and triggers a pathway leading to a cellular response. Ligand-gated ion channels open and close to allow specific ions through the membrane. When a signal molecule binds to the protein, the gate opens and specific ions flow through the membrane to rapidly change the ion concentration in the cell. This then leads to a cellular response. The ligand then removes itself from the channel, closing the gate. 